Imagine a mountain-sized asteroid weighing trillions of tons racing through space at 60,000 kilometers per hour. A true planet killer. It doesn't swerve. It doesn't miss. It slams into Earth. The moment it hits the atmosphere, the air in front of it compresses so violently, it turns into incandescent plasma. The sky doesn't just light up, it burns. A blinding white fireball streaks overhead, hotter than the surface of the sun. And then, impact. In a fraction of a second, the asteroid delivers more energy than every nuclear weapon ever created, detonated all at once by a factor of a million. Ground zero is vaporized instantly. There's a hole in the planet, over 150 kilometers wide and 30 deep. Bedrock liquefies. Mountains melt. The surrounding land doesn't just explode, it flows like water. A shockwave tears through the Earth's crust, triggering magnitude 12 earthquakes across the globe. Volcanic systems rupture. Supervolcanoes awaken. A thermal pulse of pure radiation ignites everything within a thousand kilometers. Forests explode into flame. Cities vanish without a trace. Massive chunks of Earth's crust are ejected into orbit only to rain back down as molten rock. The entire sky becomes a furnace. Wildfires rage across continents. Ash and soot billow into the atmosphere. Day turns to night. Then comes the real killer, the impact winter. Billions of tons of dust and sulfur block the sun for months, maybe years. Global temperatures crash below freezing. Photosynthesis stops. Crops fail. Oceans acidify. Famine becomes universal. Ecosystems collapse from the bottom up. Extinction races across the biosphere. And when the sky finally clears, it doesn't bring salvation. The atmosphere is loaded with CO2 and methane. Greenhouse gases kick off a long-term global heat wave. Ice caps melt. Sea levels surge. Deserts expand. It's climate whiplash from freezing blackness to searing heat. Humans? We don't make it. Maybe a few survive in bunkers, but civilization as we know it? Gone. Replaced by silence and ash. This happened before, to the dinosaurs. And it will happen again. The only question is when and whether we'll see it coming.